Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so fall is in full effect today. I decided I wanted to go ahead and try out this orange eyeshadow palette from Delancey. It is called the Eye Catching Chili Palette. Now, this palette is packaged in cardboard. It does have a mirror. It includes 15 shadows. Now, it says that these are pressed powders. Um, so yeah, there's glitters in here, mattes as well as satins. There aren't what I would consider typical shimmer shadows. They're more satins to me, but it's a very gorgeous orange toned palette. Now, when I was swatching the palette, I noticed that the shadows are very smooth, nice and creamy. They weren't really powdery or dusty. They're nicely pigmented, and it's a very nice, cohesive palette. I think there are a lot of different shades of orange to play around with. Even though it is a monochromatic palette, I believe with the glitters, and the different shades of orange that you can create a nice array of looks with this palette. Very, very pretty, perfect for fall. As you can see, there are only two pressed glitters in this palette and they're both quite dark. Now I did create this look today with this palette. I really like how it came out. So if you'd like to see how I created this, then let's just jump right into it. As you can see, I'm starting out with a complete fresh blank canvas today. Y'all see my eyebrows trying to make a comeback? They trying. <laughs> so I'm just starting off using my LA Girl Slim Shady Eyeshadow. I'm sorry, Slim Shady Brow Pencil. And I'm just filling in my brows today. I decided to use my pencil instead of my e.l.f. Brow Pomade. I'm cleaning that up with some of my Wet n Wild concealer. I use the shade Dark Cocoa just to kind of clean up around my brows so they're not too, too bright. Now to prep my lids today, I am using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Caramel. I find this to be a pretty nice eyeshadow base. It's too light for a concealer, but I like it as an eyeshadow base. So I'm starting out with what I would consider to be the main orange shadow in this palette. It is a matte shadow and to me it is the most primary, well orange is not a primary color but you know what I mean. It is the orange of the palette. <laughs> so I'm just placing that in my crease area and as you can see it is nicely pigmented. I was quite surprised by how it turned out just by placing that in my crease. Now to blend out the edge of that shadow, I am going into this lighter orange shade. Yeah, there are no names in this palette, you guys, so I'm just going to be describing it as simply as possible. But it's just a lighter orange shadow that I'm using to blend out the edge of that first color. And I feel like it blended it out very nicely, and it is really pigmented as well. Very, very pretty. Now to deepen my outer corners, I'm going into this color which really looks like a red shade to me. It's kind of like an orange based red color, but it's very, very pretty. It goes very nicely with the oranges in this palette. But I just used that to deepen my outer corner as well as dragging it into my crease a little bit just to create a nice deep crease. Because I am doing a cut crease today, as you can see, I'm using some of my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. Just placing that on with a brush, creating a basic just um, cut crease for this look. Now I do want to blend out the outer edge of my cut crease by going back into that red shade and just gently tapping it in the outer corner. And for the inner portion of my cut crease, of course I had to go into this yellow to check it out and see how pigmented it is. Uh, it's not the most pigmented yellow that I've ever used, but it does build up very nicely. As you'll see, I am able to just go in and kind of tap it on top of that cut crease canvas 
and it does look very, very pretty and vibrant. Now I'm going back into that lighter orange shadow, placing that right next to that yellow. I am creating a gradient look for this cut crease today, so I just want those shades to progressively get darker. And now I'm going into that first orange shade that we used, placing it right next to that lighter in between the red. And as you can see, it is creating a very, very nice gradient look. I was very happy with how these matte shadows blended into each other. Very, very pretty. Not too much fallout, you guys, just a little bit. The yellow did have quite a bit of powder though, <laughs> but the oranges weren't too bad. Now, you guys, I decided to go in with this orange glitter liner just to take that through my cut crease. This is something I never do because I'm always afraid of making a mess and basically destroying my eye look, but I decided today that I wanted to try something different with this bright orange look. So I'm just taking that right through my crease and I think it looks pretty nice. Wasn't too dramatic. Now I'm going in with some of my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner to create a nice wing for this look. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a colored wing, but I felt like black would be a nice contrast with this orange look. Now I'm gonna go ahead, finish my complexion off camera. Magically, I'm back. <laughs> and I'm going in now for my lower lash line with one of my this is one of the new neon eyeliners from LA Girl, and this one is in the color Outrage. So it's the shade Outrage, a really bright orange shade. Now going back into the palette, I'm using what I would consider the only brown shade, I think, in here. Yeah, there's a lighter tan shade, but it's a brown matte shadow, and I'm just dusting that on my lower lash line to deepen it a bit. Now I wanted to add a little bit more pop on my inner corner, so I'm going in with one of my ColourPop Supernova shadows, and this one is in the color Dragon. And I'm just taking just a little bit of that on my inner corner. I actually could have drugged this in a little bit more to add a little bit more glitz to the inner portion, but I didn't want to cover up that yellow, so I just gently tapped it right in the inner corner to add a little bit of shine to this look. Now for mascara, I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics mascara today. This one is the Lash Extensions and it's a pretty nice mascara. I really, really like how it made my lower lashes look. Very, very pretty. And for lips, I'm going in with my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner, a very nice earthy brown shade. And I also wanted to bring a little bit of that orange aspect down to my lips. So I'm using my Milani lipstick. This one is in the color Sweet Nectar. Very, very nice earthy orange shade. And on top of that, I'm going in with some of my new Fenty Gloss Balm in the color Hot Chocolate. Just to keep it nice and warm and brown for my lips. And I think the combination was very nice with this eye look. Using my ABH Dewy Set Setting Spray to set this look in place today. I really like this setting spray, you guys. I mean, the sprayer is kind of <laughs> strong, but it is a very, very nice setting spray. I really like it. So this is the look that this palette created. I like it. I think it's pretty. It's very fall, okay? But you can also use this palette, of course, during the summer because it does create a beautiful sunrise eye look. But the shadows perform very nicely. And for a $10 palette, I have no complaints, you guys. Very, very nice for the price. So this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and checking out my video. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles!